Well, how many of you heard about this new game on your iPhone called Draw Something? Anybody? Yeah. I figured you did. <laughs> this game is so popular, it was downloaded 50 million times in two months, and a company just bought it for $200 million. Do you know how much stuff you could buy at the dollar store with that? <laughs> a lot, I don't know. If you don't know, here's how the game works. You get a word, and uh, then you draw a picture of it with your phone, on, on your phone, with your finger. You have to use your finger, and then you send that picture to your friend, and then they have to guess what you drew, and then they draw something and send it to you, and then you draw, and then they draw, <laughs> and then your boss tells you you're fired, <laughs> and then a security guard escorts you to your car, and then you sit there and you draw something. <laughs> and then the security guard draws something. <laughs> people are obsessed with draw something. And some people are really, really good at it. There's a guy named Bobby Sagan, I think his name is pronounced, and uh, he, people are passing this around because he's so good. Here's one he did for the word cheek. <laughs> That's amazing. That's pretty elaborate for cheek. It's incredible. Not everyone is that good. Uh, my producer, Andy, plays the game. And here's a drawing he did for the word hotel. What is that? What is that? So he was trying to write Four Seasons, which you, that does not help at all. And if, if it's, first of all, it's called Draw Something. You should not be allowed to write words. I don't think that's fair at all. That's cheating. But if you do write something, you should at least spell them correctly. There's no I in Seasons. <laughs> Everyone here at the show is playing. It's crazy how quickly things like this spread. Uh, we used to play games around the kitchen table, and now you can literally play games with people around the world. Although, if you're playing with someone in China, their drawings, I think, are upside down. I don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> and you can have game night whenever you want, and you don't have to see people, and no one will spill red wine on your carpet. <laughs> so that's the upside of that. I know a bunch of y'all are, are playing at home because you emailed to tell me that I'm one of the clues. And uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of me that are very interesting. Here's one that someone sent to me. Now, I assume that's me at my bat mitzvah. I don't know what I'm... <laughs> not sure about that outfit, really, but... <laughs> and I think that's supposed to be Portia right there. Because whenever I dance, she goes, hee hee, I know that. <laughs> And then her, her feet are always out like that, completely. <laughs> we're going to get those fixed. I know that that's something we're working on. Here's another one. Now, I hope whoever was guessing got this one, because this is a tough one. But there are some <laughs> obvious clues. There's, uh, of course, the plants. I love plants. Everyone knows that. So they, they could have gotten it on the plants. Then the mugs on the coffee table. I always have mugs. And what else? Oh, yeah, that sign that says The Ellen Show. <laughs> Y'all sent me a lot of your drawings, and I'll show you some more while I dance. Yeah.